Gemini, this is a love reading, a prediction for the month of April with me, Kunakaps Taroa. And I'm reading in the order of the signs that show the channel most appreciation in the March love readings by liking, commenting, subscribing, becoming members and watching the ads. So thank you so much, Gemini. If you want to help out the channel without watching ads, you can become an extended member to my channel and get these readings ahead of time and ads free. And news is that I'm now doing spiritual growth readings for all the members to my channel and personal readings for all the full members. Subscribe and then check this out through the join button or follow the link in the description box to learn more. And this will be a love reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. So when I tell you that this is you, it might as well be the person or the situation you are dealing with. And I usually read for the empath side of the story within this dynamic, but also remember that the other person holds up a mirror of your shadow. So use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this reading for you. I can also recommend that you watch the previous love reading for March because that is the energy right now and this will be the prediction for April. This reading is dedicated to Soror Star that made a donation for Gemini. So thank you so much, Soror Star. And I will start shuffling your cards. And I use the Golden uh, Universal Tarot. We'll see if we can get this to, yeah, there. Uh, by Roberto De Angelis. Okay. So... When I open your deck here, I see the Nine of Wands with the Five of Wands. Um, so this seems like a person that leaving uh, troublesome energy behind them, but they might take trouble with them wherever they go. <laughs> it's what I'm feeling here, okay? So they might feel, oh, I'm so fed up with this um, conflict, and then they're riding off to another place and creating conflict. So I call the Divine with Love and Light. Seven of Swords with the Knight of Wands here. And this all not, it's not one a person that's uh, the cause of uh, this uh, situation. Um, it's actually both because we see this person reading off, uh, like riding off on conflict and then meeting a person that's conflicted and that has a lot of troubles. They have a troubled mind, makes them do troubled things. Okay. So I call the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And here we have three of wands with the knight of wands uh, in the reversed. Um, so I really feel like communication is needed here. But one person in this equation is failing to uh, communicate or being true or face their own lies or their own like... Um, attitude and um, this is making this situation extremely hard okay so I call the six elements and here we have the six of swords uh, with the knight of wands so it seems like this knight of wands is very enthusiastic <laughs> it's trying to solve the situation in various different ways um, they're trying to um, probably grow as a person they are not skilled at it they causing a lot of dra drama and conflict wherever they go but at least they seem to have uh, like a will to want to make it better uh, so we need to uh, we need to admire this person for this okay so it's not always that common that a person is trying to have self insight so six elements earth wind fire water spirit and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Gemini viewers. Uh, okay, <laughs> so I'm feeling my card deck is acting up. Uh, we saw the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. The, here we have the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands. So there's a lot of troublesome people included in this situation. Neither is acting in ways that I think is really, you know, to... To sort after that kind of behavior neither is uh, 
like being the bigger person in this situation and uh, uh, trying to do their best to solve it. Um, but it might be a lot of irritation in the background that has led to this and um, that we are mainly focusing on taking care of ourselves because um, we don't want to be involved in this, this conflict. Okay, uh, so, but um, there could be better ways to, to deal with these sorts of situations, what I'm feeling. So I'm just going to tune in to you and um, uh, the person most on your mind and your relationship in April. Okay, so uh, this is the new bottom of the deck and we have the lovers here and that's actually Gemini energy. Um, well, it's, um, it's difficult to be in relationships. Relationships are uh, our spiritual sadhana. It's very easy to be spiritual and, you know, be adult and act adult when we're not triggered by people doing stupid stuff. <laughs> okay, so as soon as we are in a relationship, we are being, uh, we are being uh, challenged in, in various ways with other people's, like how they behave, how they act. Sorry for my camera. Sometimes the camera act like this when it's a problem with the light. We have a lot of light here, but sometimes it acts like this when there's uh, spirits around or uh, like the guys is meddling with my cards. Um, but it's, it's hard to be in relationships. We can all agree with that, but it's also what makes us uh, learn new things. Okay. And if we weren't triggered, uh, certain things that we're not great at just yet wouldn't come to surface be displayed and needs to be dealt with. Now, old bottom of the deck is the four of pentacles in the reversed. So I'm feeling we have sacrificed a lot of situation with different people. We just let them go like they were nothing, like they were dust to us. And that might have been what was necessary. We saw the queen of pentacles in the reversed to show self-love. We needed to maybe lower the importance of other people in our life and decide that I'm more important than these people. Um, it's not gracious feelings here, uh, but uh, maybe this was uh, necessary uh, to have this approach to the situation and drop it like hot potato, okay? So uh, this is what's on your mind uh, with the, the person most on your mind. And this is the situation with said person. This is what's on their mind about you, uh, your feelings towards them the bond between you two and their feelings towards you, uh, your uh, behaviors and attitudes. And this is the outcome for April and this is their behaviors and attitudes. So we start with the situation here and we have the Knight of uh, Wands uh, in the reversed. So this person that's um, um, getting themselves into situation that is uh, maybe above their head a little bit <laughs> and uh, uh, creating a lot of conflict and, and drama but wants to improve. It's much what we saw before but I'm thinking what I'm getting here is that uh, in most cases this will be the other person and that you are rather sick and tired of them not being educated enough when it comes to relationship and relationships behaviors. This can also be a person that's um, in and out of um, relationships. I think they might have a hard time uh, adapting to uh, love relationships and, and therefore um, they don't have really serious ones because uh, it's always it's always becomes like fire underneath their feet eventually and they need to leave the situation because it becomes so uh, infected or um, is so much conflict, so much drama. Um, I don't think this person had has these intentions, but it's just they don't have enough life skills to uh, keep them friends with uh, other people for a particularly long period of time. Uh, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius uh, or another fire sign, it's possible. And um, uh, here we have what's on your mind about that person. It's a three of wands in the reverse, so it shows that uh, you don't think that uh, you are able to sort this out with this person that is probably not going to be solvable and uh, not anyway in a way that feels um, um, 
like sane <laughs> is what I want to say because uh, uh, you think that the person is acting kind of insane and uh, you don't feel like they, you can get them to understand uh, what they need to understand to so that you can get along in this situation. Um, it's um, I feel like it's, it's no talking to them. You can't talk with them. Uh, they are not reachable. It's like they don't hear what you're saying, but it's probably for their educational level. Um, we can't um, understand a person if it goes uh, above our head. So if the thing that you're saying is going be be above their head, they won't be able to understand you. Um, you might need to use different ways of communicating. You can say, it's like you're a ma math teacher. It's very hard to teach kids math. And you might need to use like 10, 12 different methods um, that will fit um, one kid. <laughs> like you give that one kid is perfect with this method, other this method. And sometimes you need to find different methods for every time you're trying to teach that kid math. So um, I'm thinking you need to use a little bit more um, different ways of communicating with this person to be able to uh, make them listen. But here they kind of said that they don't want to listen. And uh, Two of Swords, um, it's like they are ignoring what you're saying, basically. <laughs> so it's not only that it goes above their head, they don't want to hear it. Uh, because it might come out as uh, criticism. Uh, you probably are a little bit desperate. You want to come across to this person and tell uh, what's need to be done to uh, solve the matters in fair ways and uh, without conflict uh, and this person doesn't want to take responsibility for their part of the thing it might be one side to this why a person is acting erratical in a situation is because they don't uh, they can't take that they are actually acting like this and this um, uh, makes them create like a big fat shadow. So they can't take responsibility for the things they say and do because they can't take in that they said and done these things. And uh, therefore it's not a part of them. It's a part of them that they have disowned. Uh, so it's therefore a part of them that can go r ransack through the village and they won't even you know, know it or they don't want to know it uh, because if they knew how they behaved, they might not... Um, it might lose the will to live even or feel like they are the worst person ever or fall into deep depression. So I'm thinking this is a person that lacking self-love and can't be on their own side and therefore um, they're kind of betraying both themselves and you in this uh, situation. And it makes them, that it's very hard for them to, uh, to communicate on any real level. Uh, because they refuse to take in what you say. They take, can't take responsibility for what they have done. Uh, so it's basically like a person doing this on their ear while you are talking to them. Uh, so hmm. this is the bond between you two. And we have the magician. Uh, so the communication wants to come true. You might feel an overwhelming lust to talk sense into this person. And uh, it's probably because uh, they need to hear it. They need to take off their air falls or whatever they are keeping in front of their ears and they need to see that they are worthy of love even if they are not uh, being perfect and that by seeing uh, the imperfection they can do something about it by ignoring the imperfection it will only grow to a bigger and bigger and fatter shadow that will overshadow everything um Ah, so, but the magician together with the knight of wands in reverse might have to do with a person that's a little bit like um, escapism. Uh, so uh, I wouldn't trust this person with my heart because this is a person that could, uh, you know, if you don't pet them the right way, they will find someone else that will pet them the right way and say the things they want to hear. So you can't trust this person because it's more important for them to keep their um, shadow away from them, not being able to see uh, what they are really doing in their life than to, uh, to honor the people in their life. Uh, so you can't uh, uh, expect like a long uh, lived relationship with this person and you can't expect them to be honorable, faithful. Uh, you can't expect them to own up to what they are doing and, uh, and the things that uh, they are creating. Um, and they might um, do things 
um, lash out at you, for example. For some of you, I see even abuse, like a person hitting you and then saying that it never happened. Uh, so you need to be careful also with the energies uh, uh, like this because they are blind and deaf and uh, refuse to take in like any truth. So they won't be able to to do something about it. I know the person has, they w want to be a good person, but they want it so much that they can't see the bad things that they are doing. Uh, so it's uh, actually blinding them even more to want to be good. And this is your feelings towards the person and you're actually freeing yourself. So if you are in an abusive relationship, it's very really likely that you emotionally will feel less attached to this person in the period of April and able to get out of prison. Uh, so you don't have to be stuck in a codependent situation with anyone. This is actually Gemini as well. So it's just dropping the, um, maybe I said the wrong thing. Maybe if I did this, maybe I did the, the uh, just dropping it. Okay, I've done all I can for now. Uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to keep myself captured in a situation that's clearly going to hell. It's like staying in a ship that's going down. Uh, it's not um, healthy, okay? Use your, <laughs> your self-preservation to take you uh, out of this uh, situation. And it seems like you will, that you are uh, maybe sacrificing the feelings you have for this person for your freedom and sanity. And this is their feelings towards you. And we have a two of uh, pentacles. And so basically this person is mostly dealing with their the two sides to them, you know, that they can't see. The one side that, you know, have the best intentions. And the other side that needs to um, both display their shadow and also act like the shadow isn't there. So it's um, it might be even three archetypes. I'm seeing like one judge that fails to see justice. Uh, so they have the logic mind is closed off and fail to see justice. It's uh, like a person being <laughs> bought by mafia. And uh, uh, so whenever the trial is being made, then this person always are freed or always win because this person looks the other way. So they don't have a real um, like the, the person that's supposed to be moral in this uh, inside this person uh, is choosing to look the other way. And that's because uh, they want something out of this. And for the judge, it would be money. But for this person, it's to look as they are good uh, when they kind of know they are not. And uh, they can't take, they, they don't know what to do with this like bad side of them. So they rather just ignore it. So you're kind of alone in this situation uh, because this person is mainly dealing with their own inner issues uh, that can be like even conflict between their different sides to them. And um, uh, this is just showing a person not being able to take responsibility. It's too much for them. They will drop the ball. They will um, mess it up. Uh, they will lie to you. Uh, they will screw up and they will lie about it. They will screw up and not, not own up uh, to it. So their emotions towards you, they are full of their own inner emotions, you know. They have a hard time keeping themselves in inner balance. And the way that they are trying to do this is by uh, disowning certain parts of them that they don't like. Which is, as I said before, just enhancing their shadow and making their problems worse. So it's nothing you can do to help this person really. Yes, you can try different ways of communication. But it seems like you have tried it all and this person is not listening. So uh, this is... Um, uh, your behaviors and attitudes and we have a 10 of cups here it's kind of worrying me a little bit uh, because it shows that you have a lot of love towards this uh, person and you might love them for a very long time uh, even if you uh, get out of prison uh, it seems like you will still have a lot of uh, uh, love for them and so uh, it's good in one way if you can understand that this person is not acting like this because they like it they are acting like this because um, um, they haven't come to a healthy state in their personal growth. Uh, and um, they can't help by behaving like this. And uh, you might have a great understanding for that and be able to, even if you protect yourself by maybe leaving, uh, you still love the person and still um, have hope for them too. So that's the best way I can interpret that. <laughs> and this is their behaviors and attitudes. So... 
and they still want what they got from you before and they might fool you since you are having this kind of behavior and attitude by saying yeah i will improve i will be better it will never happen again and you so much wants to hear this so you're saying oh we can play happy family again until next time it happens so you're really dealing with a person that's very much dr jekyll and mr hyde um, they want to be good but they have this side to them that they haven't integrated in themselves the shadow isn't bad per se uh, it's just it can be a part of us that's traumatized and need a lot of healing to come back to sanity so to speak but it can also be uh, one tool in your toolbox that you just refuse to use um, and um, when you do that it becomes a shadow because it's still a part of you and you will do it anyway everyone else will see this bad thing that you're doing but you can't see it because um, it's your shadow so when you look around it's always behind you <laughs> and you can't see it um, so the way we do things is for example if we have uh, I usually take anger as a um, uh, because it's a good example if you get really pissed in situations and you don't want to be angry you try to breathe through it and uh, i want to give this person what they deserve because uh, i'm too good for this i'm keeping myself above this and then you're taking a lot of crap from the other person and eventually you explode it might even end in like a person murdering another person because they can't take more crap and that we can't have it like that. So it's better that you actually tell people that you get angry. I'm so angry with you right now. Uh, I almost don't know what to do. So I'm going to, you know, free myself from this situation, go out from this situation and I'm going to calm down. But you better have thought about things to make this situation better when I come back. And then you actually need to stand for your words because your anger comes uh, from a situation you can't tolerate and uh, you probably need change in that situation. So it's a tool telling you uh, this situation is outrageous. This needs to change or I will blow up my handle. <laughs> so don't let yourself blow up the handle of the handle, but rather uh, deal with the situation um, in a very grown up matter like even if you're very much in love with a person you might not be able to stay with them if they piss you off like this uh, so and we need to stand by our words and uh, we can't let someone if we say i can't have you treating me like this and then we let them treat us like this over and over and over again we need to be strong enough to say no and to show that we mean it and um, we can't wait for the other person to take that opportunity to miss you and you know finally i'm going to change which i'm seeing here uh, because if you are not the person that will push through with um, with the boundaries uh, they will just um, you know know how to trick you into coming back and giving them what they want again but not really you know putting any real effort into it themselves so it's um maybe they need to lose lose you uh, to make real changes in their life and by you hanging on to something like a hope that uh, the person will be another person next day it's it's not really sane either so the person is who they are and if you don't like who they are maybe you shouldn't be with them because um, uh, you might be like a bad match <laughs> okay uh, so this is the outcome for april and we see the ace of swords here so that's very good uh, I'm pretty sure you will be able to uh, stick by your guns and stand in your truth and free yourself from prison. But you're doing it with with a certain grace and love. Uh, so you haven't started to hate a person or you don't want the worst for them. Uh, you have a lot of love towards them, but you just don't believe them uh, anymore when they are saying they're going to uh, change. And if you might give them a last chance here with the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Swords, but it's it's very much likely it will be the last also so i want to see what they would want to say to you if they dare to tell you the truth uh, i never wanted to hurt you so that's the truth because the person wants to be good but they want to be so good that they are block they are blinding themselves to their own shadow i can't ever forget i don't know what this is about this is something has to do with the original conflict or something that has happened in your relationship before or something that have happened to them uh, that made them have this traumatized shadow uh, they might be a victim of abuse for example this can make a person split like this and become um, like their operating self and the damaged self um, and it's something that they haven't been able to process or work through 
So they might also stay in oblivion and uh, not like so choosing to not see what's happening because if they would look, they would also see their trauma and it hurts too much uh, to deal with it. So they don't, they're trying to, no, it has never happened. So if you talk about, let's say that something has happened in their family or with a certain relative or a friend and you kind of feel like, sense like something is wrong and you want to talk about it, it seems like this person has been like rather shitty towards you. They might blow up in your face and be really angry with you and no, it's nothing wrong with my parents or it's nothing wrong with the, my brother. Um, and that's kind of given you a hint that it's something wrong there. But probably don't, <laughs> you know, the person isn't ready to talk about it. So they feel lonely without you. Um, but they, they are not prepared to give much in this situation or own up to their behavior. So just because they feel lonely or miss uh, what you were able to give them, it doesn't mean that you should continue giving this to them uh, because they are not giving you much respect by actually trying to be better for real. Uh, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. It's very much giving away that this person isn't, uh, they're just, it's just for show. Uh, I won't give up on us. Um, I think if you like or dig more than scrape, you dig real deep, there's probably love from this person. But at this point, they are too damaged to love anyone. They don't even love themselves. They are a mess and they can't, uh, they can't deal with their problems. So frankly, you have no use of this person whatsoever. Uh, and they have more help with you. Um, walking away from them and they getting consequences for their action the pain in that might trigger them to look at the actual pain you know the original pain and do something about that and maybe also own up to their behavior because they don't want to be abandoned again for the same reasons I think they have been uh, many many times because they have acted in ways that most people can't uh, accept and um, um this um, <laughs> this um, there's no miracle cure for this person is what I'm trying to say in a very nice way so and this is uh, from your point of view what you want to say to this person we were always meant to be together and you still feel like that um, I think you love them to the moon and back <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter because this person can't love you in that way I'm scared of you and I would uh, also be scared of this person because there is no no one home. It's almost like dealing with a zombie or a person that forgets the evil things that they did. And it means that the person can't see it. So they, they are like, it's like having a wild animal inside the house. This person can't see what they are doing. It actually reminds me of a behavior uh, that was very prominent in my dog at times because we got him uh, as a rescue and he was very protective of his food and um, he actually didn't realize that he was growling uh, with the food. I, I realized this after a long period together working with him that he didn't realize that he was growling so he didn't understand uh, why we were um, taking away his food, giving it to him again. If he growled, he, we were taking it away. He didn't understand it because the growl came from the shadow part of him, from the very animalistic part of him that said, uh, hell no, don't touch my food. <laughs> and so he was very surprised because he was just in this, uh, in his pure state, <laughs> like in his mind, he was just like a nice dog trying to eat his food. Why are you taking it from me all the time? <laughs> and he didn't realize he was growling. So, and that's, um, that's how far disconnected this person is and you are every right to be scared. And I tried, I'm sorry, I'm thinking this is what we see here because you're giving up but you have all the love. So you understand this person, you can read into their soul, uh, but you also realize that uh, it's a hopeless situation, you can't help them. And uh, so you tried, you're sorry, but I, I don't think you should give this person a, another chance. Um, and this is why you, you would do it. I don't feel worthy of love. You are codependent to this situation. And probably you think that um, you need to take the, uh, <laughs> the scraps, you know, the damaged people. They are the only one that could ever love you. So you probably have an issue too. Uh, when it comes to this, you may have the exact si same issue as this person. You just have dealt with it in another way. While they maybe weren't able to deal with it at all, 
uh, you probably have put up, up more logic ways to 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 deal with hurt and pain uh, and uh, that's making you into um, um, can we say more adopted citizens <laughs> so you can be there for other people and be of aid to other people and give them love uh, even if you have uh, not felt like anyone gave you love uh, so you have found way to, to manage with this that's more healthy um, or more contributing to the society at least but it doesn't change the fact that you have this damage and that you are um, you don't feel that you are worthy of love at, at, if it's from a healed people, a whole per person. If a person would act nice towards you, you would probably feel like it was something wrong with them and that, uh, you know, the other shoe is going to drop at any time. So um, maybe even falling in, out of love with that person because getting so fearful that uh, because you're used to one thing, you're used to, you can deal with the crap it's right in front of you. But if the person is nice, where's the crap? I don't know where the crap is, so I can't deal with the crap if I don't see it. And so if you are with a person that does, doesn't have a big baggage, uh, you might get very scared and confused. And um, I think you are drawn towards uh, this type of people because uh, you don't feel worthy of love and you don't know really what love is or how it should feel. You think it should feel like pain. So person that brings you pain is... Uh, People, then you think you are, you are in love, but it's not that, it's just pain. Um, okay, so wh where does the divine see this relationship going? Uh, worth waiting for in <laughs> heart to heart conversation. They always, uh, they always uh, destroy my readings because they have so much hope uh, for all you. Um, they know that uh, as souls, when we go down on earth, we sacrifice ourselves and we get damaged, we get traumatized, we get... Um, you know, we the only outcome really will be that we will die. And it's also very traumatizing for us all. Um, but you're sent here to deal with certain issues. And they feel like um, that this is a match made in heaven for you two. Because you have the same, uh, same um, uh, damage. You have the same trauma. Uh, so you, can, you are maybe the only person that can really understand this person. And they have sent you down to save them. But I think it's a load of crap uh, because um, I don't think that really helps if you are codependent to another person. But um, the divine says so. It's so. Uh, so um, the best advice I can give you with this is to, you know, love them, try to talk sense into them, but don't give them uh, your everything. Don't uh, trust this person. Don't give them your key to your house. Uh, don't... Um, uh, let them too close in. If you want to be their, um, you know, their healer, uh, fine by me, but uh, don't let yourself be a victim to this person. Don't be codependent to this person. Sometimes we can also be very codependent with our will to help other people that we don't feel like we are worthy of love unless we make ourselves the doormat to the other person. So this is what their soul wants to say to you because there's nothing wrong with their soul. You know, coming to heaven, you will both be fine. You will not notice uh, so much your <laughs> your dark sides. Uh, it's when we come down to earth, it gets obvious. And sometimes souls go down in, in really hard, uh, like bloodlines. And families that have had uh, very big traumas and, and awful things happening to them, making them uh, behave in very low conscious ways. Uh, mind in a very low conscious mind and so it can be even if this is uh, like a really advanced soul uh, they will still if you were born in in their body with their experience you would probably be much the same uh, so it has nothing to do with their soul when it comes to matters of the heart there's no right and wrong every choice you make expand your understanding of life and love and this is uh, probably a reason to why the divine is sending you to the hellfire it's because um, this um, every experience you make expands your understanding of life and love and that's a big part of why we are here we're not only here to to heal like the population of humanity and earth uh, we are also here to to learn things about our own soul and our own capacity and our own strength um so with the ten of cups here it's a uh, it's a love that is hard to maybe um, like um, just sh 
shoot away so love the person but please do it from a distance you know free yourself from the actual drama and give them whatever support you can on a distance and don't give them the keys to your car or <laughs> to your house or to your heart it's uh, uh, it's not safe okay so uh, i would urge you to watch the reading their true thoughts and feelings in their true thoughts and feelings playlist that will probably tell you more about this story and you can also watch the what do they want to have happen between you uh, reading in the in the playlist with the same name what do they want to have happen between you two that could give you more um, information about this situation or maybe about another relationship that you rather would want to hear about jet planes in the night sky with you Today, if you can't get enough of my readings on YouTube, you can now become a member to my channel and get access to premium content videos. There are three different levels to choose from. You can become a supportive member and get personal and spiritual growth readings for the collective. Getting high in the sunrise with you. The second option is to become an extended member where you get access to the collective readings from the previous level and you will also be able to see all the channel's astrological tarot readings for all the signs ahead of time and ads free. Getting through all the bad times with you I wasn't missing a thing no I do and I wish that I could The third option is to become a full member where you get access to all the perks from the previous levels and on top of that you will get short personal readings from me every week. It is very similar to super chat readings but here you subscribe instead of paying for super chats. Cause I move on and now you're gone. If only I could do this and wish me, I'd come and get you. There is a lot of other perks that's available for all levels, as membership loyalty badges, custom emojis, and other special features. I'd come and get you. I can't forget you. I miss you. I miss you, I miss you all the time. I wish that, I wish that, I wish that. If you subscribe to my channel, you will be able to see the join button where you can learn more about the membership. You can also follow the link in the description box to check this out. And if you are still not convinced that this is a good option for you, you can become a member just to support my channel and help me keep on doing readings for all the astrological signs. I hope you will join and we will have so much fun together. Thank you for watching this far. I'm sending you all my love and all my gratitude. <laughs>